Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids, and today's video is a bit of a fun one, a bit of a light-hearted one. Uh, we should be getting, hopefully, info very soon, maybe even today, I don't know, uh, on this Void Tower, Sky Peak, whatever it's going to be. So that's pretty exciting, and obviously we've been doing a lot of... Uh, uh, pretty in-depth guides from the test server and for Hydra recently. Uh, plus, um, yeah, obviously all, all the, the sort of the news content, some drama over Telerian Trials. It's time for a casual, relaxing video. What I want to do then is to go through every single faction and to pick out what I think is the best looking champion from that faction. Uh, and I'm being very general with the term best. They might be super cool. They might be super ugly. They might just have a really intriguing story related to their look. It's kind of just up to whatever I want to pick, basically. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be, I think, a pretty fun one. I do feel like I probably lean towards pretty powerful champions for the most part. It might be kind of fun to go in and do another video like this, talking about really terrible champions that look badass. Because, you know, usually being strong in the game kind of makes you look at the champion in a little bit of a different way sometimes, doesn't it? Anyway, let's start off with the Banner Lords. Uh, the classical sort of knightly faction and for me actually one of the few times in this video might even be the only time actually We're gonna skip the legendaries and I'm going straight to Stagnite as in my opinion the best looking champion in the Banner Lords Probably a bold choice, but I just think this guy is so cool number one He's got that realism to him. You know that little bit of, of kind of chipped paint on his armor. It looks real. It looks used um, I think like this guy could have been an, like an actual knight. This could be a real world look, but at the same time, there's so much story to it. You know, the stag knight, uh, he's got that design going on. Just the luxuriousness as well of his cloak and how it kind of links up with his pauldrons. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, it's kind of like it, it could almost be real, but then it's pushed, you know, it's pushed that extra 20, the extra 30% beyond what would have actually happened in the real world into that this awesome fantasy look. Uh, he's got obviously the super badass shield with the glow to it, of course. That's not realistic, but yeah, I just think this guy looks insanely cool. I think he looks amazing. Um, yeah, better than a lot of the legendaries in the game, to be honest, and he's a really strong champion as well. So Stagnite for me, he's my pick for the Banner Lords. Moving into the High Elves, this one was actually a bit difficult because funny enough, I actually think that the High Elves don't have the best looking roster. Actually, in terms of looks, uh, a lot of the champions are quite old and don't look that good. It was a tough one. I am going to pick Ethos as my choice here. Uh, I think Ethos sort of captures that essence of this very martial, very skilled, very intimidating high elf warrior, really, that's going to just you know, come in with this consummate skill and just be f flipping around through the battlefield, cutting people down left, right, and center. He looks so cool. I think his helmet is very iconic, very intimidating, very badass. Um, the only real criticism I have of Ethos, I'm not a massive fan of his shield. Again, simply more from a gameplay standpoint, where his shield really doesn't translate to any gameplay terms. It looks cool. It's got this cool glow on it, but he's not tanky at all. Um, you know, uh, he doesn't use his shield for any attacks. It kind of feels a bit superfluous. Like, he'd be kind of cooler with a twin blade, you know? Like, if this, if this spear had, like, another blade on the end and he was kind of twirling that around and spinning around... That would be kind of more fitting. So that's the only point against him. But I do think he just looks super cool, super sleek, super badass. He definitely looks like an elven warrior. Over in the Sacred Order, this one is very difficult. There's some really badass champions here uh, from all with all sorts of different looks. Well, the champion I'm going to go for after quite a bit of deliberation and quite a few changes of mind, uh, I, have to, I have to give, you know, we have to give that honorable shout out to Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix just has, you know, the most stylish of hairs uh, and, and facial hair styles. Uh, he just looks really, really cool. Uh, he, he should probably be the, the number one pick, let's be real. But I'm actually going to go with Glisea Soul Guide. I think Glisea just looks, she just looks insane. She look, She's next level. Let's be honest, she is that complete... She looks like a goddess, you know, otherworldly uh, for sure, which really fits in with the Sacred Order. Just the detail on these wings uh, and the height of these wings. You don't see how, how high they go, but they go up really high. She has this halo. I think she really captures that, perfectly captures that idea of, of like, if, you know, a Greek goddess was to actually be real, 
uh, in this fantasy world, you know, that's what this would look like. I, I 100%. Uh, and with her, I think that, you know, the, the spear and shield combo actually works really well. Uh, it's a bit more of a practical, practical setup. Again, very Greek uh, with the round, small round shield and the spear, I think is awesome. Yeah, I think she just looks just insane. She looks incredible. Uh, it was a tough one there. There's so many cool looking champions. Going over to the Barbarians, again, I feel like the Barbarians, not the best looking uh, set of champs. Uh, they've got some interesting ones in there for sure, though. The one I decided to go with in the end is going to be Valkyrie. Um, I just felt like Valkyrie kind of captures that real Celtic warrior vibe. Um, you know, she's not not the best armored. That's cool. But the armor she does have is is uh, really interesting looking, really ornate. Uh, I love the helmet. Again, it's this really iconic design. Uh, her weaponry fits perfectly with that sort of Viking and Celtic, Celtic aesthetic. Uh, definitely a, a more realistic look compared to some of the other champions, for sure, in the game. Um, yeah, I, I think she looks, you could see her, you know, leading an actual, leading a battlefield, like on the front lines of like a war band, leading the charge, inspiring them, fighting back to back with like other, other barbarians. I, you know, I think it fits super well. So she has to be my pick there. Going over to Ogren and uh, yeah, definitely the ugliest faction in the game. No question there. And certainly in terms of legendaries, I think it is the most limited faction now as well. Uh, so we don't have a ton to choose from here. And we're definitely, I think we're definitely scraping the, the, the barrel a little bit, but I'm actually going to go with Drakgul the Gaunt. Uh, and the thing I like about Drakgul the Gaunt, I'm really intrigued by the storyline that the look of this character tells. You know, when I, I look at this character, I'm like, oh, what's his lore? You know, tell me more. What's the backstory of this guy? You know, like he's, he, he's got, his arms are slowly turning to stone. On his head, again, you can see he's sort of slowly turning to stone. He has this giant rune stone which looks amazing, chained to his back. It's like, is that what's turning him to stone? Why is it doing that? What's the story here? Then, of course, the whole gaunt aspect of him, that the Ogrins are typically really big, really fat, and we've got this really skinny guy as well. Uh, I just think that it's just really tall and skinny. I think there's just so much story there. Uh, it wants me, it makes me want to know more. So, yeah, Dracul the Gaunt, I actually think he looks, he looks incredible. I think he's super cool, a really intriguing champion. Over in the Lizardmen, again, I feel like this is a relatively weak-looking faction overall. Um, I did have some deliberation, and there's definitely a couple, uh, a couple of champions that almost made the, the 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 cut that might surprise you. But I did decide to go for Krisk in the end, which is probably going to be a lot of people's choice. And the thing about Krisk that is just so cool, definitely him being one of the absolute best champions in the entire game definitely ties into that and, and sort of builds this storyline. But I just love the fact that he's this absolute tank of a turtle. You know, he's completely badass. This massive spiked shell on his back. I think that's so cool. He's armored up. He looks like an ultimate tank. If you saw him, like if you actually had to fight him in real life, he'd probably be massive. And it'd be just absolutely terrifying, like twice as tall as you, this gigantic turtle, just spinning and flipping around, taking all the hits. Uh, I, I just, yeah, again, I think Chris looks amazing. And, you know, I'm definitely picking a lot of like, uh, I definitely picked a lot of probably fairly, you know, the, the, the cool looking female characters that are pleasing to the eye, probably cropping up in this video. I do have to give this special shout out to these more monstrous characters. Um, they are more unique. I think they're very special in the game. I, I have to give Virgum Car. I almost picked Virgum Car, uh, which would have people would have flipped their shit. But I think Virgum Car looks freaking awesome as well. We have to we have to give him a shout out. What a cool champion! These monstrous champs are just awesome. Going over to the Skinwalkers, this was quite tricky. There's a few really cool looking champions in here, especially uh, ones that have been added in recently. Um, you can see why people are always calling for more skinwalkers. They just look so damn cool. Uh, I'm going to go with Snicktrack, who is the most uh, the most recent addition to the skinwalkers. Uh, Sonic, yeah, Sonic, he grew up, you know? Sonic grew up. A lot of the Sonic games didn't do so hot, and he's he's not too happy about it. He's a bit pissed, <laughs> you know? He's he's scary now. Uh, Snicktrack, yeah, I think this guy just looks freaking awesome. Um, Porcupine Knight. Like, what's not to love? This guy looks super cool. This was obviously as well based off of um, a design by, uh, by a fan that a fan designed and submitted. 
Uh, they redesigned it a bit. I think they made him a bit more evil, but he uh, he just looks super, super cool. Um, again, maybe the only issue, it's not really a big issue. It might be cool if he was fighting with more natural weapons as opposed to maces. But yeah, I kind of do like, I dig the spiky maces as well. Uh, I do, you know, they're spiky, so I'll let him away with it. That definitely, that's definitely pretty awesome. Over to the orcs, and this one again, fairly difficult decision. There's not that many super cool looking orcs, I would say. We've got some, we've got quite a few decent ones, but ones that really pop and stand out above the rest was kind of hard to come by. A lot of them are a bit too over the top for my taste. Like for example, Vara looks cool, but like this is just not practical. These weapons, it doesn't do it for me. I'm actually going to choose Danag Skull Reap as my option here. I think this guy looks insanely cool holy shit this guy looks awesome i just love like this the glowing red eyes and this pale skin with this helmet strapped to the rest of his face like that's just gnarly man that's just that, that just speaks orc it's super orcish again he has sort of his chest bare but that just seems like such an orc thing to do like he doesn't even care he's too badass to need to wear armor on his chest that's how cool this guy is i love the veins the creepy veins through his skin as well it's awesome and i mean that cloak like that cloak is just nuts. It's next level. This cloak is next level. Again, the only criticism I would really have of him here uh, is perhaps his weapons. These are actually grenades, which is kind of weird. So he does hit people with them, but he also throws the grenades. Um, so that's a bit strange. Like maybe if he had just a big giant two-handed axe or something, it'd be uh, a bit more uh, intimidating in that sense. But um, apart from that, I mean, this guy, he just looks super badass. You wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alleyway. That is for sure. Jumping over then to the demon spawn. Um, this was really difficult. This is genuinely a faction that has so many just off the chart designs. Uh, they just, they go nuts here just across all the rarities even we have just incredible looking champions this is a very tough one and i'm sure there will be some big debates over this in the comments but i'm gonna go with sissia flame tongue as my choice uh, i just think she captures that quintessential demon vibe of just you know fire and brimstone just so well the ultimate fire demon she just looks so cool she's sleek uh she she looks intimidating like that tail it's just, it's just kind of scary. It's just spooky. Like she looks like she means business, right? She definitely looks like she means business. She's got the whole fire thing going on. The flaming sword is just super badass. Her wings are next level. Yeah, I think she looks just insanely cool. Um, a demon you would see on a battlefield and, and you would run from. <laughs> you were like, there's no way you would fight that. But that was a tough one. There's so many good ones in there. Undead Hordes, I actually found... We have a lot of champions in here that don't look amazing. A lot of older champs. Um, it's. I remember, you know, for a long time when I was starting playing, it was the meme that every new champ was undead and we had way too many undead. I feel like we haven't really had any undead in ages now and that the other factions have definitely caught up and they're a little bit dated, at least in terms of their looks. In terms of the champion I think is overall best looking, I'm going to give it to Sifi the Lost Bride. Um... Again, it's the storyline of this champion that really brings it together. You know, that, that idea of that she is the bride. Something horrible happened at her wedding party. Like, I, I just, the the eyeshadow and the mascara, just the, the tears streaking down her face. And that really evil look that she's got is just really creepy. It's genuine, genuinely spooky and terrifying. Uh, kind of the stuff of nightmares, you know, the a typically white bridal dress is, has turned black and, and brown, sort of death and decay. And then the, the blue glow of like this ghostly spirit. I think she just ticks all the boss boxes and she's obviously extremely powerful as well. So yeah, Sifi, Sifi the Creepy gets my, my pick for the Undead Hordes. Over in Dark Elves, just an insane faction in terms of looks like nearly every champion here could potentially win. Uh, there's so many cool looking champions just across again all levels of their roster it just looks they do look insanely good however i did sit down and when i actually looked at them i said there's one for me that definitely stands above the rest and that is mithrala lifebane i think she's on like sort of the next level right the next level for me uh medusa basically uh in raid terms and she just she's so creepy i love how still she is as well when you're looking at her we've got sort of that the tails these the double snakes on her tail sort of sinuously twining around and she moves a little bit but it's just that sort of 
blank gaze from her eyes with the Medusa head. It's just creepy, man. Like the animation really brings it together in a big way. Uh, she's sort of like tall, skinny. The wings look incredible. Um, yeah, she just looks insane. Like just the, the texture of that sort of snake skin down her torso as well. Just everything is there. She just looks insane. She looks insanely good. Over in the Knights Revenant, another really difficult faction. We have some just incredible looking champions here. Uh, old ones and new ones alike. I feel like this one is just an amazing looking faction. This was very difficult as well. In the end, I decided to go for Thea the Tomb Angel. Uh, when I was looking at Knights Revenant, what I was looking for was, again, that very martial feel that this person is actually like a knight, that there's this element of armor of fighting on the battlefield, and then also the idea of this revenant, this sort of undead energy. I thought that Thea sort of captures all those things. Unfortunately, she does have her butt hanging out, which is definitely a point against her. She spins around to show it off, ruining my, my point here. But I just love this sort of fairly heavily armored look that she's going on. But then again, it's this idea that she's dead and like she has that knight aspect, but then she's also flying. She's got these insane, really creepy, very crypt like wings um yeah that she has like this magic on her side now as well that yeah if she had a sword she could totally throw down but she's sort of gone beyond that now and she's gonna be fighting like with this sort of spooky magic i think that's really awesome so yeah thea was narrowly enough but she did make it in as my top pick there for the dwarves then for the dwarves, uh, we've got some really cool looking dwarves, actually. I really like the dwarf designs in this game. We've got some great ones. It's got to be Trunda, though. I think Trunda really stands out as next level. She's got a very comic book design, uh, for sure. Like a kid's cartoon design. Uh, she could absolutely be in, in any of those animes, any of those Marvel comics, whatever. Trunda would fit right in with the sort of uh, glowing lightning hammer, uh, the ridiculous hairstyle, the badass armor, dem thighs, dem thighs are huge. She's got the thighs. She's not skipped leg, leg day ever in her life. Uh, yeah, Trunda looks incredible. Uh, obviously, she's also insanely strong as well in the game, which just really fits with that aesthetic as well. She lives up to the aesthetic. Uh, yeah, just an absolute beast of a champion. Just super cool. She makes dwarves really badass and really cool. Um, and yeah, I, I think Trenda has to take the win there. Then finally, the final faction in the game, at least for now, is the Shadowkin. And this was, again, very difficult because, damn, there are some incredible looking champions in here. This one is very hard. Uh, a lot of these are the newer designs. And they're just really cool through and through. One of my favorite factions just visually overall. So this was difficult. After some deliberation, I did decide to give it to Yumiko. Again, one of the absolute best champions in the game. But I think her design, this the detail work is there. It's so good. Um, you know, from the flower on her back, you know, the tails, one tail chopped off by uh, Karato. He has that. But the thing that I really like is that she she has that really beautiful, seductive look. But then at the same time, when you look more closely, she's actually really creepy. Like, look at her arms, that they've become sort of furry. They've got these huge claws, these runic designs. Again, you can see with her feet, they just, they turn from these, you know, it's this lovely female body in the middle, and then it turns into these, uh, like, fox legs at the bottom. It's that sort of merging, that melding of of um, sexy and scary that I think works really well. Um, she does both at the same time, and it's alluring yet disturbing, which I think is exactly what they're going for. I mean, just look at her, look at her icon for her A1 wear claws. Like that shit's terrifying. Uh, I think she does them both, and I think that's just really, really cool. So there you go, guys. They are my best looking champions for every single faction these are the ones i think they they did the best design work on uh, like i said some of them were easy enough choices some of them were really difficult choices let me know were there any champions i skipped over that you would have absolutely chosen did i change your mind about any of them hope you enjoyed today's video like i said just a little bit of a fun one make sure to like and subscribe actually check out the collaboration i did a couple of weeks ago now with ash where we actually went through and we chose the ugliest champions in the game the worst looking the worst designed that was a ton of fun as well but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed i will see you all next time Bye-bye.